Hi, everybody. I am just trying to see if this is showing up on Facebook. <clears throat> I'm not seeing it. I hope it is. All right. I wanted to show you, and I'm also trying not to have the hiccups. Let me tell you. <laughs> the new snap, the snapbooks, well, they're called flip books. If you ordered the July Craftology box, you, you have the green one in your kit. And we just did get these on the website yesterday. So I want to show you there's an option for the four by six. And I have to, I want to just kind of tell you a little bit about these. These kind of books like aren't my favorite to do big projects with, <clears throat> but after playing with this one, they are my favorite for brag books, uh, vacation books. There's so many other things you can use them for. Now this is the four by six. They are plain. And so lots of decorating can happen here again. They are just great for that brag book and they do come apart. I'll show you on this one. The big one does the same thing. So we have the refills at countrycraftcreations.com. And this, like I said, this is going to be from the July Craftology box. But you can always purchase one of these books and the paper. Now the, the paper collection will be up on the website this afternoon. So if you want to buy more of it, comes apart. So you can also add your own pages. It comes completely apart to add more, or maybe you want to make more of your pages. But like I mentioned, hello, Linda. They're not my favorite as a complete project. I don't even remember how to put this together, guys. Let's see here. I there we go. But brag books, this one, and I'll show you. I've already used it for a specific camping trip. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Uh, a camping trip, or maybe you want to. And then that goes together. Okay. That is actually very simple. Why don't you play with it? This can loosen up as this gets fatter. So you can always adjust it. And I did not get mine on correctly but you can see how the backs are so we put the green the big green one here in the craftology box and you yes it's a great kids project so get them now and get the kids going i thought this craftology box was just really great this month and jennifer's project uh, scrapping under the influence she's already done hers so this is basically, I'll show you what was left. Um, this was my sample that I made. And I'll have to tell you, when I did the sample, I did it before Jennifer, the design main, because we had the main project that you do. And you also get the free cut chip board and everything with it. No, we don't have any more kits left. Every um, The subscription is up. So if you want to get in, oh, hi, Millie. We're doing great, Patricia. If you want to get in on the next kits, they ship every other month. It ships again in September, and it's the fall. We don't do how we're not doing Halloween, and then we'll have a Christmas box, and then they start over for next year. But you can jump in on the uh, subscriptions anytime you want. So we're going to do the cover a little bit different. If you follow Jennifer's project, you've already used this paper, but you'll be able to buy more this afternoon. Hello. And inside is where I used from the sticker sheets and we'll be using what's left some of my own craft card stock. And during the video, I'm just going to place my, um, my things down, but you might want to use E6000. I know some just use glue dots and they say they work really well. I haven't had much luck on the plastic, but E6000 seems to do the trick. We're going to do this a little different. I found out Jennifer did use it in the main project. Places to pull this out, though, to put your pictures on. And so I have started to add some pictures from a camping trip. 
and then you have another full and you can take these out and rearrange them um hi jennifer she's here so this is when we took um my son my daughter and son-in-law we all went camping so i whoops oh, i've got another full page do you have three full and i already started printing the photos when we took the dogs down we were in idaho up on the green river and then you have more room in the back so again that was the sunset that night put the little tent jennifer uses glue dots and they stay i have still have room here i didn't fill all the pages i want to leave room because we're going camping in september and i will put the rest of our camping pictures in that was the sun coming through um, as it was setting that evening and there it's fully setting up in idaho on the green river just beautiful up there then i made a pocket in the back you can you can add like i said anything you want to these little books i'm going to do uh, some things a little different that's what's fun and then i personalized it on the back so you're going to use which jennifer didn't use you would have had the two colors of twine in the craftology box but you can use anything in your stash and this is what jennifer these are the ones jennifer used so i left them intact and I'm going to show you, let me show you again, for those of you, if you have not done Jennifer's Project yet. Hi, Donna, how are you? If you haven't done Jennifer's Project, those were the main pieces she used. So I want you to get a good look at that. You can always go back when the video is recorded, stop it. And that way I punched out everything she did not use. So we are going to be using all of these. So I have... Um, a lot to choose from after her project I don't really like grasshoppers but he's pretty cute he's pretty cute do love dragonflies so I was really happy to see that she left us the dragonflies and definitely the cameras and things like that because it really goes with this <clears throat> so after her project um, this is what she had left and this is what we're going to work with so this is where I want to show you how I'm going to do a couple of things different. Oh, uh, well, you can go and see Jennifer's project on her channel, Scrapping Under the Influence. And this is what she had left. We are going to be actually using this on our front cover instead of from this sheet. But like I said, this is going to be on the website so you can purchase more papers. This was one of the main sheets in the collection kit that you have but i thought how fun to do it different with you so you can see both ways so i'll be using this for my cover we've got some cutting left and she had three by fours and then cute little strips so that's what's fun about this project you don't need a lot of uh, material to go with it definitely the map is a great one to use All of this is great. So again, I took the stickers off the banner sheet that she used. So if you haven't done her project yet, you might want to make a mark. Um, if you have a permanent marker and you want to do this one, just go ahead and make a mark on the ones at the top here, maybe, that she um, used. And then this is... Also, once again, the ones that are gone are gone because Jennifer used those on the main project. And she does a beautiful shaker front. It's so cute. So that was one thing, too. In fact, I forgot to grab those shakers. Let me grab one. Sorry to read the screen. I'll be right back. And I don't know what the girls did with them. But I'll show you what they look like. Sorry. They were the green ones, but they came in a little jar like this. 
thought I had a jar sitting here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use these. This one will be on our website. This is the trick or treat. Oh, did you already make it? But I'm going to use these because I want to show you on the cover. I'm going to do something a little different. And you may have just some little things in your stash. So the whole idea is also to be able to use the Craftology box with things in your stash. I want you to see this. So this is a dome. These are actually going to be on the website also this afternoon. We're getting everything unpacked. They're the Sizzix. And they're the shaker domes, and I love them, and I want to show you how you can use them, even though it's not part of the Craftology box. But they will start being in, we're going to have them in some of the Craftology boxes, because they are so cool to use. And even though these aren't the green, I think they go good. They have the orange. They're Halloween, <laughs> but we're going to use them, because I can't, I did not grab that green, our actual green one. But there's your sticker she did not use. And then these are the sheets. I'm going to use that. But these in your Craftology box, she did use. So we'll put those aside. She used all of that plaid. I love, I love this collection. I can't wait when it gets on the website this afternoon. You've got to get it. It's just amazing. So I'm going to get started with our book. Again, you're going to be able to do a lot with this. So I want to start definitely with the cover. And we're going to start by cutting. And I'm going to just hand cut. I want this to look a little rustic because I am going to to uh, rough up the edges but if you're using also what was left over from Jennifer's project you're going to want to put it kind of down what I'm going to do you can cover this whole sheet also I mean this whole page but I just want to kind of get some markings so I'm just going to run my finger on the edge I, I don't want to cover the whole book I really love this green but that's going to give me an outline, kind of better to see. Now I've kind of got an outline. That tells me where my borders are on the book. So I'm going to cut on the inside. And if you're working with the same sheets that I am, Then you'll see I'm just cutting straight up, but I'm going to do, I'm going to rough these up a little bit on the edges with my scissors. So I have clear up to there. So I want to bring some of this green. And now we can put that aside. Simple stories is really great for having this for fussy cutting. Now that looks just too, too cut. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we're going to grab an ink. You can use, I'm gonna use, it's called Acorn. And now we're gonna make a mess. Now you may have a special tool for this. I prefer my scissors. And if it tears, I'm okay with that. Just going to add to it. So these are brand new, so they're pretty sharp. Should have got my older ones. Tim Holt Serrated does really well with this. But somebody took mine. Use my great big ones because these aren't super sharp like those. So, see, they give a little more roughed up look. And since this is my outdoor nature book, that's what I want roughed up look. Those are doing a great job. 
fact, a really good job. Get those corners. You don't want them to be square. You don't want them to be perfect. Hello, Tanya. I get to see you pretty soon. I'm excited. I was so excited to do another one of these. This one, I'm going to make an extra and keep it in our camper. So I won't be adding photos yet to this one. I want to have it in the camper so that we'll have it to look back on when we're camping. I'm going to go ahead and, and clean my board. That gets pretty messy. And I just knocked my garbage can over. I'm having one of those days where I'm not coordinating. I got to get this picked up. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> I'm not a coordinated person today. <laughs> so this is also where... Look at the original. The original. See, the rig this is from the main sheet. So you've got some cute, really cute things on here. This is where we're going to want to grab our sticker sheet. And I'm going to use the sticker sheet to add the um, extra elements here to bring it more into what this looks like. But when I did show, like the shaker, so I might want to bring this up from the bottom. I might be adding the shaker onto this cover, which again, you might have some of these things in your, in your stash. So that'd be pretty cute. We'll see. And then you have your bottle of shakers. You, I don't know. You shouldn't have used them all. Jennifer, did you guys have to use all of them in the shaker front? And then we have the border sheet. So we're going to use both. And our glitter glue. Oh, we have to ink this. Our glitter glue is going to hold this great. Somebody said we need to post pictures. What kind of pictures? So I'm getting on the sheet somewhat on this one because I want a little more grungy look here. Now, if you have some left too, Donna, you can glue, you can glue these on. I wish I could find a bottle of them that I had sitting here because there's little trees inside of them. They're just adorable. I don't know. See how I really, and how the um, grunging that edge up just really takes on the, your ink. So it doesn't look like you cut it. Let's even add some there. Because we're out in the wilderness, we're supposed to have some grunge here, not such a, Nice, pretty white. If you want. Maybe you're a really neat camper. <laughs> See the mess it makes. But this is also, maybe you're taking the kids or the grandkids on a nature walk. Maybe, you know, you want to put things in the pocket like some leaves. Clean this off. Well, with the domes, you get six of them in a package. These are the oval. Yeah, you get six domes. And you can, um, I use some dies. I just had round dies and I put along the edge to kind of show. This is the dome. They're, they're, they're really cool. I cannot wait to for you guys to get these. 
And you don't have to, though. You'll see when we glue this down how neat it is. Okay. I'm going to leave a little on the bottom. Now that I've got that all grunged up, I really like it. Except, I think let's, let's get some... Get some inside of here. And it's always nice when you get your uh, paper and then you are able to use all of it. I'm going to smear that around. And I have the spray bottle of actually. Oh, I thought it was about empty. It has a little bit. I put a little bit of alcohol in it for when I'm doing the alcohol stuff. And my water. Man, all my bottles are empty. It's time to refill. There we go. I know the look's different on camera, but that way it looks like somebody's thumbprint sm kind of smushed on there. That's what I'm looking for because this is outdoors. Of course, I'm going to glue down those torn areas. But they just add to the, the look of this theme because I don't want them torn. Oh, it's in the 90s today. It's pretty hot here in Utah. It's hot. Get those edges down. Okay, my edges are down. And actually, you can cut into that. I kind of wish I had, but we're going to do some covering up with different items. you squish that glue out everywhere <laughs> seems to be a see the I don't know if you can see the tears I love it but they oh they're glued down and I just made a new tear uh, because it was torn and that's okay not all papers that would be okay this paper it is okay Okay, so one thing I want to do down here, this is just, this is too plain for me. So if you have your sheet here of banners, I want to bring this in, but because this hangs over, I am going to cut off those bottom leaves. But I'm going to place them up here at the top of my sticker. We're not going to throw those away. We're just going to put them in a different place. Oh, that's going to be cute, Patricia. So if you love to paper piece and do cards, you guys have to uh, visit Patricia. She also does these online. She has the most adorable card kit. She's up in Maine. She's a store. But she does the cutest paper piecing. You need to do a beagle, Patricia. <laughs> okay. Now, on the stickers, definitely do put to get uh, use your adhesive. You want this permanent. I'm going to center that down. Now it takes, we're getting rid of some of that squared, our squared look. But 
that's really cute. I'm just trying to decide here because we have some different levels. There's our sticker sheet and our chipboards that were left over. Um, favorite destinations just seems to go perfect. And that's what I had used before. I did bring in the butterfly. So now I do need to decide if I'm going to go more like the original cover where I added the chipboards or do we want to go ahead and add probably the shaker. So if you have some of your shakers left, like I said, mine, mine are going to look different. I don't want to stop the camera to go find them, but I think they'll be okay. <laughs> They'll be a little off. So if you guys don't mind one second, because I do want to put it on with you to show you how they are. Let me go get, let me take one more look. Girls did such a great job cleaning up. I can't find where they put any leftovers. Oh, I found a bottle. Wow, that was lucky. I found the bottle. These are the ones that were in your box. They're called falling leaves. Whew, so now we can use them. So I'm going to take the Life is Adventure sticker because it's going to look super great right under there. And you're going to leave those leaves falling off, falling out, falling out, sticking out. Now this is the sticker. Sure. Life is an adventure. Now what's really neat about this when we get the backing off, um, it sticks down, but I do use art glitter glue still with it. And you can cut if you have a die, check out your circle dies. You might have one that will fit and go around the rim. This one did. But we'll use some twine. Oh, I wish I could smell your homemade bread too. So with my shaker elements that are left, at first when your bottle's full, they are hard to get out. But there's little leaves in there. I thought there were... Some little trees. I'm just gonna. I don't want too much because I don't want to cover the picture. Get that little guy in there. Now the dome, remember, was not in your kit. We didn't have them at the time, so you can order. You'll be able to order these this afternoon on the website. They just came the other day, and I thought we got to use these. So that just comes right off and then it's clear so you don't see it. And even with the art glitter glue, it's going to dry clear. That's why it's called art glitter glue. Oh, it's clear so you can see the glitter. It's pretty sticky. But I wouldn't count on it staying down where you're not using a die cut circle over the top of it. Down. So we're going to hold that for a minute. Uh, 
uh, mostly right here on the book because the paper and the book, it changes levels. Yeah, glitter glue is going to dry pretty fast in most cases. Just not in the case when you're on camera, right? <laughs> and you really can't see the edges, but like you have the three yards of the two different colors here. So I'm going to cut off. Let me use the rest to wrap on our spine here so 12 inches should do it get these together because I'm not going to don't want to really tie a bow So if you have our glitter glue, just go ahead and go around the rim. When you get, if you're using um, anything for a shaker, like I said, this was kind of last minute, so. I was just going to put the stickers there, but this one needs to go there. And this twine that's in your kit, you can purchase it online too at the store, Country Craft Creations. But um, it does really well with the art glitter glue because it's it's not coated. You just have to make sure you're getting both strands. Kind of hold it as we're walking around. I think I'll leave that kind of hang in there. And we'll probably we'll put something there. Maybe like the bumblebee. Um, or it's a well, it's some kind of a beetle, but we'll come back to that. So I am going to add, because this needs to dry. I'm going to add the great or no favorite destination from your chipboards. I know. Didn't that come out awesome with that sticker back behind there? And it didn't take much from your shaker jar either that was in your kit. Let's see. Oh. Now, it just depends on how you kind of feel about grasshoppers. <laughs> he is kind of cute. Oh, you had a conference call. Those are important. Very important. I'm just kind of debating here with our butterfly. It's pretty cute. But I have a brown butterfly too. You'll have that one left. I think he's more of a moth. We'll go with the butterfly. And do use if you have our glitter glue because you need this to be permanent. 
yeah that's true if they're jumping all over you i do mind yes i'm like you yes i do mind <laughs> so we still we have some uh we have some uh help me here things here that are pretty plain so you'll have your you have some three by four cut up parts left over if you don't want to use them on the inside and I just used them on the inside as more of a filler for the um, the pages that I wasn't sure if there was really going to be that much of a what do you call it a photo so I'm going to add and I know you have this one left over because we we need to add some more color here but again we're just going to fussy cut around the image and I'm not doing like a super fancy get those mushrooms you want those mushrooms because again we're going to kind of rough up the edges so do leave some room for that on those ferns Um, actually, the images from this reminds me a lot of an Alaskan cruise we took and then did the, oh, it was an all-day adventure through a walking tour, and it was all the ferns and stuff. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, I'm not going to do as much of a rough on this because I don't want to tear it, but also roughing up these edges your ink's going to stand out a lot more. Oh, well, we cut that baby right off. Oops. So let's go around that mushroom. There we go. Don't use new scissors. done. I can add that on to the front. Hi, Margaret. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, I loved this one. It was such a, a versatile. Um, I mean, it's for those who love camping, but those <clears throat> who don't love camping and who loves nature walks and um, it just really it really kind of fits like all personalities that's what I really loved about it so on here I'm going to take off follow your arrow and it's going to go down here at the bottom Anywhere where you fussy cut and it looks like it's just like it just stops. That's where you want to then add either a sticker or something that's going to give it that finished look. And I'll come back to this when it fully dries. I'll see what's left after we wrap the spine. And what I did for that is just took my twine that's in your box. So you've got three yards. You've got a lot. So kind of get a cent. I divided it in half. Oops, we don't want to mess those up. And I'll start here. And I'm going to bring it to the inside. And we're going to just cross it over. And I put it so you'll see that indent. We'll just bring it back to the front. you're gonna then you'll have enough left over we can make that other bow
And I'm tying this in a knot. Is Teresa here? Okay. Now I'm going to cut a bunch of this up, but I'm going to leave at least 18 to 20 inches. Because we're going to make the bow, but it's going to leave me enough to make another bow on there. But taking what, if you just have a little piece, you don't need a lot. I like to just um, go under both strings because I don't, I want them to be together. And I'm just going to tie this into a knot on both, there we go, on both of them so that they're secure. Now I'm going to tie a bow with my big strings. Like I mentioned, this is nature. This is all about rustic. So don't worry about your bows being perfect. And you can even tie it again if you like. And I just fluff those out. We're going to cut these ends down. And there we have that cover. And you can add more, of course, and do more. This, like I said, is that original sheet where I cut the image out. But Jennifer did use that sheet. I don't think she used that piece, though. So if you want to substitute a different one in her book, you definitely can. I don't even have that piece to show you. It's very popular. But you can buy more. Um, oh, in your kit, forgot to tell you, you have the package of flowers. I don't have any more. They, they were so popular. Jennifer didn't use them on her book, but you have enough to use over. They're just the small ones. I did glue them down under the bow. So if you want to add flowers, you can. You don't have to. You can also use them for another project. So right here is where we can take now our leftover piece. And I'm just going to tie a normal bow. And I'm going to add it there. I don't want it to be too big. Like I said, art glitter glue works really good with this twine. In fact, it grabs pretty fast. And I have adorable little hearts left over from your chipboards. Let's just add one right to that knot. You can hot glue too. If you, if you do, you just need a little bit. Okay, and that's going to be my cover. Now on the inside, oh, whoops, I wrapped my twine around the spine piece. That's not good. Yeah, don't get it underneath there. Whoops, we need him. Um, first one is going to be a full page. Again, you can change these. I just took this cool sheet and what I'm going to do is this is six by eight but I and I found you'll see the seam right there on your little plastic books so it's pretty close to six by eight I'm going to cut it just a hair short of the six but I'm going to cut this down to six by eight And then on the original one, I did use Wonder. Oops, did I cut that too short? But she used it on hers. And that's okay, because you want it on that main project, your chipboard project. Oh, I did cut mine a little short, but you know what? <clears throat> it don't matter. It still goes in the book just fine. What on earth did I cut it?
Did I cut this one longer? Oh, I did. I cut them eight and three eighths. Let me see. I'm still going to use this for something else. Okay, so our pocket's a little bit deeper. You can put photos on this, or maybe you're collecting leaves, and you want to glue the leaves down onto the sheet and then keep them secure in the pocket. That would be really fun to do with the kids. And because she's already used Wonder across the bottom, I want to go ahead and use one of the banners, and I'm I'm going to have to cut them, which that's okay. These are really great. Um, and they're so cute. Look at that frame. So I want to take this one out and laying it down. So I'm going to just cut it to this frame. And then we still have the frame and those cute elements. But because this looks just a little cut off to me. I'm just going to kind of just weave back and forth. There we get, go make it a little more so it doesn't look so just cut off. Look at the dragonfly right there. I love dragonflies. Oh, but do make sure it's going to fit there at the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous with the rust? Oh, I love it. And then all you have to do, you don't even have to cut down if you want to put your four by six photos. And it doesn't have to be a camping trip. It maybe it's maybe it's the dog park. Because we do go to, we have a a nature center that has a dog park. So maybe it's the dog park or maybe it's just um, an outing that you had one day that you want to add um, pictures to for this little album. Now the back I did just leave plain. We're going to slide that right down into our book. And this is where if you want to add um, any chipboard elements, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just add one. I wanted the dimension. But um, I'm not going to use my, my E6. I, I use E6000, but it will take, takes it a little bit to dry. Um, Jennifer said she just uses glue dots. And I've also heard you can use, so let's try this. I was told just using foam dots um, also works. So let's do a foam dot and see how well they stick. And I have these that are, these are actually really sticky. And I'm not even going to use any art glitter glue with them. I'm going to use it. Hmm. They might be pretty good. That will give me some dimension on the page so it doesn't look so flat. And in the original book, on the next page, this is where I used a sticker across the top. But I'm going to do something different because when... I saw what she had left over. Isn't this gorgeous? Just gorgeous. So for this next sheet, your second page, you have a another full one. So I'm going to leave this at 12, and I'm going to go cut it down to 6. 6 wide, 12 long. Oh, and when I'm cutting it, so I want, I want this to show through the plastic, and this is going to come over the top. You can use things like magnets in here. And if you were, if I was going to double mat this, you'll see I definitely would use a magnet because you could put it here and you'll see a flap we're making and it will stick through this plastic. So those are some things that you can 
can do. You can really play with these and personalize them. Well, we know that we need to have, we know we need, let me turn it this way, um, to come over the top, eight and three eighths. So I turned it. This is this is going down in the envelope. This is going to be my fold over top. So I know I want eight and three eighths because that's when we measured the other one. That's where it went. So we're going to score this at eight and three eighths. And our butterflies will kind of be upside down. I didn't even check to see they're not directional, but it's going to be okay. Shoot. <laughs> I didn't check those first. And if that bothers you, then you can definitely turn it around. Oh, and you know what? That's going to show on the back. So let's do that. Yes, our ferns are a little upside down, but that's okay. It's always fun to change. But I want to go ahead and ink that side really well. And yes, this paper will crack. Um, a lot of them like this will because... It's called, it's, it's the method that the ink is dry. And so I'm just going to stand that off a little bit. Make it, if it's going to look distressed, I want it to look at least evenly distressed, right? And you'll see that I love a lot of the tutorials that the, Especially Simple Stories puts out for us. They do a lot of great ones. They're so, they're just so talented, but they don't use the cardstock with them. And so what happens is things like this. And you know what? After time, they do wear out. So that is one reason you don't see me doing a lot of these. But this one I just fell in love with because it fits what I need and what we all need for our summer walks and things. Now this is where I was talking. If you were using cardstock and you were going to double mat to hide the magnet, you could put one here and one down on the inside and that would that would pull that shut. But I'm not going to use the magnet and I'm perfectly fine with it not um, being shut. But I do want to use take a hike. And once you start using some elements like like this, the chipboard, it's it's going to be heavy and it will hold it down, which is really nice. So let's use a chipboard. Take a hike that you had left over. I'm going to hold that for just a second. Whoops, just a second. Now see, it'll easily come out to add your photos. And even though we have the favorite destination on the front, I just thought I really needed to add it here because this paper kind of speaks of a favorite destination. Maybe as you're out walking and you see the butterflies and slide this back in. So we can, oh, we're, we'll go back to the front cover. So I used my own craft from my stash now this page I only added a sticker on and that's going to be your third page now you want might want to take these out and mix them up but you see how cute oh and don't be afraid to kind of move these it's they're stiff when you first get them there's your back so maybe you just want to use this for journaling super cute but on the back here I'm just going to take one of the Just Goes, which was on this sticker sheet, and I'm going to add it to the bottom. Like I said, I'm not going to add any adhesive right now. I'll go back, and I will peel it off and get, use my six, the E6000. And then I just left that one blank. That Now, this might be where you want to put those leaves that you gather along the way. Or maybe you find... Um, some feathers you can tuck them down in there and then actually you could seal it by just using score tape on the inside put it on the inside peel it off and then seal it so that your stuff stays on the inside now your 
your next page. This is where, again, it's going to depend on what you have left. So I inserted one of the four by six cards. And Jennifer, I wasn't sure if you had any of these left, but if she, if you didn't, that's okay. Because we've got three by fours. And then when we cut two three by fours, they're going to fit in there really great. And what's nice is not only are they decorative, but you can um, journal on the back or you can add a photo and you can take them out and move them. Another thing that's fun about this book. So I'm going to cut off these two. I'm going to leave them intact though. So basically now we've created whoops, one that will just fit right inside our book here at the bottom. You can never tell where they're open. There we go. Take it out, add your photos, add some journaling, and you can put your fit picture on the back. And I do have a little two by three printer. So I it, they will fit inside of these. Again, I just printed off the photo, added the chipboard. So very, very simple on the, this part. I'm not going to do too much more on it because now I've showed you the basics. And we're just going to um, look really quick because you can go through and add anything you want. You can even make pages to go inside of here and then punch your holes. But let's make the pocket for the back and the photo spot for the front. And then you'll be able to go back in through with what you have left from your project with Jennifer. Or if you're going to purchase more, then you can go through and fill up your spaces. Again, like somebody mentioned in the beginning, set the kids down. The kids can handle this project. How fun for them to go through with the papers and decorate and see what they come up with. And then they can start adding what they're doing this summer and since March <laughs> all year long, right? But you had some really, really neat pieces left over from Jennifer's project. So I am going to do maybe something a little bit different. Now on the front, I did a photo mat, but I'm going to change the photo mat just to be long because I really wanted to incorporate this piece that was left over from the project that you'll have here. Oh, I don't know where those came from. Um, otherwise, I'll give you the measurement that I use for this photo mat. So the piece of rust that you have, I cut that at five by, I'm pretty sure it's five by oh, four and a half. Five by four and a half is the matting. And then this is just a piece of craft, four and three quarters by four and a quarter. But we're going to change the size because this needs to be here. And your cover is eight and three quarters long. So I'm going to cut this at eight and three quarters. I'm going to leave it just the size it is. This was the piece left over. And that's the size it came out to be. So we're going to go with it. See, I love sometimes projects don't have to be difficult. Now, you can also fussy cut around here if you like. Um, this, you can also, oh, I think we will. I'm still going to add the photo mat, but I'm going to only adhere this on three sides. We're going to create this into a pocket. No sense in wasting a good tuck space. So you can also get out your cardstock. And if you wanted to create a heavier duty pocket. So we're going to do three sides. Now remember, this is just your single layer cardstock, so it's not made for a heavy duty pocket. Um, it's sticking over just a little bit. So we're going to change the shape of the top. A 
of our pocket. And that's one way to do it without putting it in the cutter and making a mess. I just use the alcohol that's in my bottle. Tuck spot. But I still want a photo mat. So we're going to change the size of our photo mat to four. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go four by six. So with this piece as the background, I'm, I'm going to cut it down four, four by six. Now I'm going to go four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Then it's going to be flat, so we can still use this pocket space. Using my craft card stock, I'm going to cut this four by six. Then you got a great place for that photo. I'm going to put these two together first. So how many, has anybody finished Jennifer's project with the shaker front? It's such a cute front. And I love that she taught us how to make that shaker front. I'm going to put this piece down first. Um, we probably should have left our little thingy on. <laughs> it works better when we're working flat, but that's okay. You should I cut them and let them. just a little bit because I am going to like I said that shaker kind of makes it so I can't push flat okay sticker sheet love this little tag love it so I'm going to poke out the hole And I'm going to grab the twine. Let's kind of bring it over to the side so we don't ruin that top, our top piece. And this is one of those projects. So after you finish Jennifer's, because you're cutting the shaker, you're learning all that. It's a little more hairy. This is one of those I love projects that you can kind of just dabble with. You're not really having to follow any specific instructions. You're using what's left. Um, sometimes you just want to like tinker around, as my husband calls it. He'll come down. Oh, you're not really making a project. You're tinkering. Yeah, I am. I'm just tinkering. Um, one thing I did not do, so I'm going to grab a scrap here. I'm going to 
hold that scrap there because I forgot to leave it open for a photo. Oh, finishing the shed. That's fun too. So I'll have those hanging over the edge just a little bit. And where we belong. That's pretty cute right there. The thing is, you have, you probably don't want the bottom stuck down because you want to put a photo there. And you can use, if you've got some powder, I don't worry too much about it. Whoops. Um, so I'm going to just, well, I, I'm going to just take my scotch tape. I don't really, I don't keep powder around either. It's too long. Doesn't have to be perfect. But see, your scotch tape now makes that unsticky. There you go. So now my pictures won't stick. I want to add adhesive, though, to the top half. So now when I want to stick a photo there, it's good to go. another little piece here not much better slides right in and for the back side so our photos done you got your cover with your shaker and for the back, I did the same thing, but I used a four by six. I won't use a, oh no, I didn't use a four by six. There wasn't one left. I, I used from the pieces and parts that you have left. I had used the burgundy, I mean this rust, but since I've kind of messed it up the first time and the map looks wonderful anyway, I think I'm going to use one of the maps down here as a pocket. Definitely going to use the maps. Or maybe this side. I really like this side too. I'm going to use this side. So I'm going to cut this. Hi, Annette. Long time no see. So I want to cut this down to six and an eight. Or you can make it any size you want. So it's six and one eighth by four. And I went six and one eighth. So if I had a photo, I didn't want to cut anything off. But that's pretty rare. Even with these scenery photos, um, you can always trim these a little bit, like this excess of shadowy tree there. So you definitely can um, cut them off. Oh, Donna, the seam binding was put in. She didn't use it, so I left the seam binding, but we left it in your kit. We wanted you to have it so that you can use the seam binding. Well, I miss you too, Annette. You can use your seam binding on your tags. You can use it for bows. Um, you can use it here instead. I forgot to mention that. Thank you. So you have a package of seam binding. Um, I always send a lot to the designers. and. Jennifer is our more natural. <laughs> Kim would have just used it up, as you know. Uh, Kim, um, that's why I loved um, Jennifer on this project. She, I'm going to glue that. She is our more camping naturalist than Kim even said. That's not me. <laughs> you know, some designers, it's just not. Oh, I love that shaker. And so she didn't use them. 
but you definitely can use those seam bindings anywhere you like. So we still have quite a few of our, our cute little um, chipboards left. And I'm going to go through it again to show you where I did use those in the book. Again, I just did the three sides. You can make it more hardy of a pocket using your um, cardstock pieces that you have left over from your main project. And let's add some fun embellishing to this. Pretty much bringing my moth over here. And then I added a sticker here. I cut, I fussy cut on the original one, but on this one, this is the sticker I'm going to remove from here. It says, let's go wander. We have the chipboard hearts that you still have left over. And great escape. Or if you want to bring in more color, you have lots of fun words to choose from here, like go outside. 100% natural. Let's bring in some of the green. Let's do, let's bring in the go outside. I want to move those up. Okay. Then from... Oh, I want to show you on, let's go ahead and use this one. That was the little square in there because I want to show you with this picture frame. Again, you might want to add, like I did, some scotch tape around here or make it unsticky. Oh, oh, you stick them to your pan. Okay, good idea. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to try something. You know what? I do a lot of the... Chalk Kucher, and I forgot you can do that, um, Jennifer, with your towels. Now, I want to cut around this frame, and the one thing is I want this frame to be usable. So I want to kind of cut this white off because I want it all to match because I'm cutting out of one side. So I'm just going to trim this off. up to the butterfly and then I'll just there we go to make it look like now that's how it always was now Jennifer sticks this to her pants but you know what I'm going to do I have these paper towels so we're just going to up and down because it'll pick up the lint oh it is I have some better paper towels So Jennifer sticks hers to her pants so they're not stick. Oh, it's becoming unsticky. See what we learn? Much. Oh, okay. Oh, I like it. Thank you. We're almost. Oh, it's there. It's not even sticky anymore. Then when I am ready to put a picture in, of course, I'll use a little a person or a dog more than likely a Wilbur <laughs> then I can cut it and put it in there and then adhere it down so I want to make sure that this is going to stay down but I don't want the frame Jennifer thank you so much you know I should have known that because with chalk kuchar we do that on the towel so now the frame won't be sticky look at this Awesome. <laughs> you can stick it on your arm. <laughs> I never thought of that either. 
Oh, wow. Well, see, that really isn't sticky, but that's okay. We're going to leave it up for now. Even the clothespin until I get that photo that I want inside of there. Oh, I didn't stick down the hearts. They're going everywhere. We need to stick those down. How come I never knew that, you guys? That's so funny. That's not where I wanted to. And one thing that I, I didn't use was some of these other chipboards inside of here. Like I said, I'm going to go back over. I did use that on the inside. Um, we've got that. So the binoculars, we've got to put the binoculars on here. They just, they just have to go. Annette, I hope you've been well and that you've just been busy crafting. That's why we haven't seen you. Okay, that was the original one, but I wanted to use this frame. And then, um, you know what, Tammy? The, well, they're new, and yeah, I know they've had them. Um, like I said, they 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 serve a purpose. They're not my super favorite because I love constructing my albums, but this one is perfect for what I want this for. <laughs> so I used one. Of, we actually use that sticker there on our front cover this time. Remember, because we were doing things a little bit different. So you can use any, the thing is you can use any of your leftovers from the main project on this. And that's what this was all about. So there was the stickers I did show. I did not use any extra um, embellishments or anything there. Now this was where we had that beautiful sunset so I did put the tent here and you have your tent left over again I used the e6000 and this one's just ready for photos sticker and that was oh that was the little chipmunk he he was staying with us for the weekend <laughs> again sticker now a lot of times too you want to wait till your pictures are in there anyway so you put a picture in and it's just perfect with the camera. Then you can go back and add your embellishments or if you're giving it as a gift. Um, you can always type out the instructions to let the person know. Uh, three by fours, that was the actual sunset. And we did our back and refillable sheets. So if you want to make this bigger. Oh no, Annette. I'm, I'm glad you're doing better. That's not good. Um, but you can definitely use, and I'll show you what we have left, any of your embellishments that you have left over. You know, the moth, he will get used. All of these things will get used. So that's where maybe you want to make an envelope and put down in one of these. Maybe make a four by six envelope that we stick inside there. So let me see if I have a piece big enough to do that. Um, your cut aparts now can just stick inside there. And I, I think that's what I'm going to do to put these in. So we're going to make an envelope here in just a minute. Oh, it picked up the ink. Well, that's what happens when you're working and you're not paying attention. Um, I have the sticker sheets left. Again, I used one last time that Jennifer used. So you have so many to choose from. Not a big deal on this. But I did want to cover, it does say simple stories. It's okay. Oh, I'm going to have to do something there. So I did add a, a banner sticker. These are so beautiful. And they're so good for filling up those spots that you need that. You need something there that you don't want. And I probably now will put a strip of paper across the back because of the ink I picked up. But let's see if I've got enough here to make an envelope to put the rest of our embellishments in. 
because our envelopes are four by six. I mean, our pockets in here are the four by six. So let's make a Oh, I don't think we have enough paper on this one, but I do have enough paper because I have that brown cardstock left over from Jennifer's project that if you were using brown with Jennifer, um, you'll have enough of this left over. So I'm going to cut this seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. And then we're going to decorate it. Super easy things you can do with these books. Oh, and you forgot your powder. Yep. That makes sense. So I'm doing the envelope that's um, four by five and a half. I didn't need it, the, you know, the full four by six because you don't want it to be that big. Um. Three and three eighths. So if you have your envelope punch board, you might want to grab that out because this will be a fun project to take camping with you. I'm not going to round my corners on this one. Well, what, man, let's pick up all the dust. Oh, that's the dust from when we were, when I was tearing up the edges. Now, before we actually decorate this, we're going to make sure it fits. I'm sure it will because I want it to fit in a four by six pocket. Oh, it's just fine. Actually, I'm going to move these little guys up. I'll put this down here and then also. It serves a dual purpose for those things that we gather on the hike that you can add a picture if you wanted. Envelopes are awesome to add to things. And you also have your sticker sheet left. Be very careful when taking out the words. Share the wonder. I'm not going to add glue to this one because I know it's going to stick really well on the artisan cardstock. But see these adorable two by twos? These are pretty cute to use on different things, but I want the math. So I'm just going to cut a strip and it'll be about an inch and your envelope <coughs> is five and three quarters. <coughs> Bye Donna and thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> I'm joking here. And it was fun seeing you in St. Louis. There is a top and a bottom, so it does go the different directions. So again, you can put this together. We're going to put all those embellishments in here. We're going to put it in the pocket, and you've got yourself 
a little vacation folio, um, little booklet. You have a gift. You have, oh my goodness, so many different things. And so our little grasshopper, he needs to be there. TC, hello. How are you doing? Finally, we get our little grasshopper here. And because I know I want to use these embellishments later, but we want to get pictures in there. Or maybe you're giving this as a gift. So these are all the leftover ones from Jennifer's project that I can now use on the rest of this when I get ready to decorate it. And it is now made it chunky. The only thing is you won't. Uh, stickers can go in here if you're giving it as a gift, if, but you'd, you'd want to go through and cut things out, of course. Yay, I know. We had to use the grasshopper. He's pretty cute, isn't he? And then this will fit down. And actually, it doesn't have to go in that one. You've got a couple of different ones to choose from. Lid can stay over the top if you like. It can go down on, but this, this is too plain. This is just too, too plain. Now, I've got all my, oh, that's one reason you want to glue these down. See, they're not permanent. I mean, they do a good job with the adhesive on these, but. So, let's take this leftover string I have left. And this is where you might want to use some of your seam binding. There, that's going to keep that down for me. And yet it looks cute in the pocket. Things can stick out of your pocket. And there you go. Then we can add our cut aparts that are left over. And you're now ready for a nature walk. ready for my photo and there you guys go so again the paper is going to be on the website this afternoon so if you want to get a few extra sheets this from the craftology box you can get this main one uh, Jennifer's project I don't have to show but you can go to her YouTube channel scrapping under the influence Jen Palmer she does the whole tutorial with the shaker front and your little shaker pieces. And these can also be glued on to different things. They're just adorable, the falling leaves. And again, a walkthrough. This is the one I show using pieces and parts that Jennifer um, had left over from her project. Be creative. Uh, make it your own. Maybe, like I said, a gift. You can do anything you want with this cute little, these cute little books. Give them to the kids. I'll tell you what, the kids are going to go nuts. My grandkids already have gone nuts. And um, this was my original one, but I made it before Jan did. So you'll see some of the duplicate. Uh, you don't have duplicates in your kit. And then the only thing you don't see that I, I did not use that's in your kit was the seam binding. We, we put it in originally, and then I, I had the twine, and I used the twine instead, and the flowers. I did not use them, so. Yes, the uh, yes the shaker and the linen ribbon will be up on the website this afternoon. Um, Jen uses that linen ribbon on hers. It's just amazing. And now you are ready. So you can see that E6000 on the back. You are now ready to load yours up with your favorite photos from that camp trip. Nature Walk Dog Park. It's just a wonderful paper. They did such a good job with it. And I hope that you guys are enjoying your Craftology box. Um, watch for the shaker. 
um, P, uh, these the Sizzik shake shaper sh shaker. There's two different ones, and I'll show those really quick again. So I was playing with it and used some of my own round dies. They have dies, but they're for cards, and I don't want these for cards. I want these for mini albums, but you don't have to add anything. Just the twine looks great. So thank you guys. I had so much fun, and then I'll see you tomorrow, and the cutting guide will be up because tomorrow at 11, we're going to go in and finish. We're going to finish our um, kitchen album that we've been making or that we started last Friday, and then don't forget, there's no live shows after Friday until. August 12th because we are heading out for a retreat the 22nd scrapbooking retreat and then we'll be coming home and going to the Las Vegas scrapbook re retreat so no live shows until August 12th but we'll finish this little book tomorrow it's such a cute little size don't you think I love it okay everybody have a wonderful day and thanks for joining me and be sure to show us on uh, scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook. I want to see your guys' books, what you do with them and how they turn out. But we do have the red ones and the black ones up on the website. Now, the red ones are going to be great for Christmas. And then there's the black ones. And then also all the other sheets. Oh, we don't want to lose that little sticker. Um, the refillable sheets. So we, I did get in the black and the red. So if you want to do those Christmas... Um, they're, they're for brag books. I love them for brag books. Not, that's about my limit. <laughs> love them, but um, like I said, there's some things that this is absolutely perfect for, and this is it. You can see it starts, it starts to get thick, but you can loosen. So if yours starts to get loose, I mean, gets really thick, then you just kind of loosen this a little bit. Close her back up. There you go. And then it will close better. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow right here again live.